In this episode of the Builder Studio, we're going to show you how to build this DIY corbel shelf with a built-in storage rod. This is a super easy project that features our Blue Ridge bracket. Stay tuned for some tips and tricks and we'll be right back. For this project, we're using the Blue Ridge bracket in Red Oak, part 892093. For more information on these brackets, be sure to check out the link above. The first step for this project is to drill the holes that our storage rod will sit into. To do this, I've just created some reference points so that I can pull accurate measurements from both corbels. You can see I've laid them out side by side to mirror each other. This is just going to keep things uniform and make sure that I'm making the same mark on both corbels. Once I've marked both corbels, I'm going to check my measurements one last time, and then I'm going to take my Forstner bit and a rubber mallet and just make a small mark on each of those corbels to make sure that I'm able to center it up on my drill press. Since we're using a 1 inch dowel for our rod, we're also going to use a 1 inch Forstner bit. A Forstner bit is going to allow us to control the depth of our cut much easier than a regular drill bit. Since we're using a larger drill bit, it's important to add a clamp to our drill press and ensure that we're keeping our hands a safe distance from the cutting bit. For the depth of our hole, I just decided to bring it flush with the top of our Forstner bit. This is up to your preference, but it is important to note that the depth will affect the overall width of your assembly, so keep that in mind when creating your project. Now that we have the holes drilled for our dowel rod, I want to first check the measurements and make sure that we're at the desired 36 inch length. Then we can add some glue to each hole and install the storage rod. You don't need a lot of glue for this process as the final attachment to our shelf top will secure everything together. To finish this step, I'm going to add just a little bit of clamping pressure to ensure that my rod is square with the top of my corbels. Next we're going to cut our top down to size. We chose a 1x10 piece of red oak from our local hardware store. This is going to give us a roughly 2.5 inch overhang off the front of our shelf as our corbel depth is 7 inches. The overall width of my corbel assembly is 42 inches, so I'm going to cut this at 44 inches long to give us a 1 inch overhang on each side. After that, we'll just sand the top to 220 grit and get it ready to attach. To attach our corbels, I'm going to first align them with the back of our shelf top and then measure for the proper overhang on each side. After that, I'll just mark with a pencil to create a reference point for the location of the corbels, and then I'll begin transferring the center point of the corbel onto the top side of the shelf. We are going to be using a screw through the top of our shelf as well as some wood plugs that are grain matched, so what we're going to do is transfer those marks to the top side of our shelf, and then use a two-step bit to create our pilot hole. Once we have the holes drilled on the top side of our shelf, we can then place the assembly back together. And then I'm going to add some clamps to keep everything positioned in the correct spot as I'm drilling these screws in. I chose a longer screw for this attachment since we have plenty of material to work with on our corbels. Now that we have our top attached, I'm just taking a piece of scrap red oak from our cutoff and just trying to grain match the best I can in order to hide those plugs as much as possible. Using a plug cutting bit, I just cut out four plugs at the marks that I created and then I can just take a chisel and pop those out.
To install these plugs, we just need to add a little bit of glue into each pre-drilled hole and then just take a mallet to tap them in. And we'll let this glue dry and then come back and sand all of these back to 220 grit to match our top. Now that our shelf is fully assembled, we can go ahead and add a coat of finish and install it onto our wall. These corbels come with two keyhole brackets installed on the back side for easy installation. Since this is a heavier assembly, I'm going to hook one side into a stud on my wall. Then I'm going to find the correct distance between each corbel and apply that to the wall using an anchor on the other end to keep it secure. It's important to first get an idea of the rough location for your shelf by just placing it on the wall and holding a level up to it. This is going to allow you to create some reference marks that you can pull the rest of your measurements for the screw attachments. Next, I just need to transfer the distance from the top of my shelf to my keyhole bracket onto my wall, and then pull the overall width between each corbel. This is going to give me accurate measurements and accurate marks to add my screws and anchors on both sides. Once we have these screws and anchors installed, we can go ahead and place the corbels on each side and make sure that they slip down into the correct position. Then we'll just check our level one last time. Now that our project is complete, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode. I really love how this project came together and just how much storage it adds to the space. It's also a very easy build to accomplish. If you're interested in creating something similar, you can reference the link below for the Blue Ridge Bar Brackets. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time in the Builder Studio.